Hi, I'm Mike from Hunter Technical Support Department and today we'll be reviewing some of the causes why your valve may not be opening. So here we'll be talking about the various reasons why a valve may not operate. Uh, the first of which you need to check is it getting power from the controller. The controller may think it's operating in the display but the power may not be arriving down to the valve. That's one of the first things to check. Secondly, is the flow control open? Here in the center we have the flow control. I'm going to take this screwdriver here and I'm going to turn it clockwise, which is the closing position. If you open it back up clockwise, you can open the flow control all the way to the top to where it stops. Don't overdo it. They are plastic parts. And then simply turn it back about a half a turn. So if the flow control is all the way counterclockwise, you know it is wide open. So that wouldn't be a cause either. Um, the third possible reason is, does the valve have water? Does that main line have water in it? Is there a shutoff valve prior to this valve that might be turned off? So you want to verify that there is water in the valve, and you can do that one of two ways. You can open the solenoid a quarter turn. Does the water flow through? If it does, then we know we're probably looking at an electrical issue of the power not making it to the valve. But if you turn the solenoid and you have power and the valve still does not open, you may have a clog in the exhaust port. This happens to be a PGV valve, but all valves work in the same premise. There's an exhaust port under the solenoid. I've already loosened these screws for ease of operation, and what we're going to do is remove the bonnet. Now, under the bonnet, you'll see a small hole here, and you'll see a corresponding hole in the valve body, which is here. When this valve is installed, when you pull the bonnet off, you want to take a small piece of wire, and you want to make sure that you're able to ream through that hole. You might be able to see that blue wire there inside the, the valve body, but if you have debris caught in that hole, it'll prevent the valve from opening. How does it do it? Well, if the solenoid raises up the plunger, that water is supposed to escape down that exhaust port to allow the valve to actuate and open. But if that exhaust port is clogged, even though the valve is getting power and you have water pressure, the valve still will not open. After you've cleaned out the bottom exhaust port, you'll also want to make sure that you clean out the exhaust port going up through the bonnet. And in this instance, once you remove the solenoid, you'll see the lower connector to that exhaust port and you can send a wire right up that hole as well too. That would be the reasons why a valve may not open.